Today for our keynote, we have two of our members who will be giving their presentation together, so we're really excited about this. We have Katie Wagner. Katie is the president of Katie Wagner Social Media. She spent 15 years as a journalist working for ABC, CBS, Fox, CNN, and National Public Radio. Katie is an excellent storyteller and knows how to reach her audience effectively, whether it's through their televisions, laptops, or smartphones. She loves helping business owners tell compelling stories about their own companies by integrating social media into their traditional marketing plans. And our other speaker is Kelly Wepler Hernandez. Kelly's company is WH & Associates, which is a marketing firm that offers coaching and consulting for small businesses. After completing her undergraduate education, Kelly spent a couple of years in the health and wellness field and then moved on to spend 13 years in sales and marketing, both in wireless telecommunications and the semiconductor industry. In 2006, she completed a master's in business administration while continuing to work full time. Kelly's past success is based on developing relationships and she's been teaching her clients that since 2008 when she started WH and Associates. Welcome Kelly and Katie. schedule together, we decided that um, we wanted to sit down and talk about dispelling some of the myths that <coughs> some people may have about our two businesses. As a social media consultant and a marketing <coughs> consultant, we wanted to make sure that people understood that we are in fact two businesses that would work very well together, um, as opposed to be com being competitive businesses. And so we decided that we could look at the whole um, lead generation topic and using content to actually figure out how to generate more leads for a business. That's right, and another myth that we want to dispel is that social media in and of itself is a marketing plan. It's not. It's part of a marketing plan. In my opinion, a pretty important part, but you really have to have a bigger plan to know what your marketing is going to consist of, and social media is just one of the tools that you use. And so we wanted to talk about lead generation, and content is a great way to generate leads. I'm sure that you all know marketing has changed over the years. Right? I want you to think about traditional marketing, uh, television ads, radio ads, print media. What you're really doing when you're advertising on those mediums is trying to inject your message into what somebody's already doing. Right? They're reading an article, they're watching a TV program, and you're pushing your message into that programming and trying to get their attention. <coughs> and that's what's referred to as push marketing. But you're trying to squeeze your message into programming that may not have anything to do with what you're trying to convey. These days, with things like TiVo and DVRs, people aren't watching as many commercials. So the way that we market to people has to change. And so what's come about is a method of marketing we call the pull method, where you're trying to draw people into your business. You want them to choose to go deeper with you and to take the next step in getting to know you. Social media is a big part of how we do that. When we put content out there, whether it's social media or blogs or articles, you have people find you and then they click on your link and come back to your business with you. So basically by coming to your blog or your website, by going back to your social media page and hitting the like button, they're saying, I'm opting in for you to market to me. I want to hear what you have to say and I want to go deeper. And so by putting that content out there, we can really allow our businesses to be found and to draw people deeper in. So you know why it's important to put content out there, but how do you get started? Well, you start by building a strategy, and strategy really begins with understanding who your most ideal client is. You can develop all the messages in the world, but if they're not actually targeted at who you need to hear your message, what good are they? And the second piece of building that strategic foundation is also understanding what makes a business different from the rest of the competitors out there in the marketplace. If you have nothing different to offer, the only thing that you can be compared on is price. So once we've figured out that strategic foundation, who the ideal client is, and what your point of differentiation is, then you can figure out how to actually deliver those messages and build the content. Looking at optimizing your marketing assets. We all know that the website really acts as the hub of um, material where you want to use all of your marketing communications to drive people. So the website sits in the center of um, the marketing asset tool. And if you look at the rest of the tools around there, pictures, videos, blogging, whatever the case may be, advertising, your newsletters, everything else should be driving traffic towards the website. And if you think about your social media profiles, the best opportunity that you have here with social media is to actually amplify the rest of the content that you're putting out there. So the purpose of the social media tools is to drive 
is to increase the level of content that you have out there, make sure that people are aware of it, and then use that to drive um, people to your website. That's right. In addition to that, there are a number of rules that people want to um, look at as far as publishing content. The first one is really embracing being a publisher, and this is a challenging one for most businesses. And so looking at um, becoming the expert in your field, the more you speak about it, the more content that you deliver really is what makes you an expert in your field. Using that to build momentum and create your um, content with intent. So making sure that you're really using that content to actually drive connections with people. And speak in a human voice as opposed to more the academic or the, what we used to know as the written voice. Um, that's the way you'll actually connect with people and draw them into your business and get them to want to hear more. Sharing or solving problems as opposed to selling. You want to show people how you're actually able to help them solve their problems. And do something unexpected. Surprising prospects is what really draws them in and makes you become much more memorable as a business. Play to your strengths. Using the tools that are most uh, that are your best tools to actually get your message out there. And finally, being very generous with your content. If you think about um, you know going viral, being helpful really is the new viral. The more information that you can put out there um, to help your clients understand how to be better consumers of your industry, the more trust that you'll develop. And that's what we're really after here in terms of delivering content is building that trust level. So, okay, content sounds like a pretty good idea. We know how to do it, but what the heck are you gonna say, right? Well, telling the story of your business is really about telling the story people are gonna remember, right? Because if they don't remember you, you're not staying top of mind, they can't use you, they can't refer you. What you want is to be memorable so they're talking about you to other people in their lives. And the way you tell memorable stories is to add value. Give them something they can learn. Give them a way to go deeper into that information. Because what you want is for them to see something on your blog or your website or your Facebook page and go home to the dinner table that night and say, hey, guess what? And share that information. And then everybody at the dinner table goes, where'd you hear that? And they go, oh, I was on this great Facebook page. I was reading this really interesting blog. And that's how word of mouth spreads about your business. So the more that you can teach people, the more that you can give them something where they learn something, the more they're gonna remember. And even if they don't remember every single thing you've taught them along the way that you're creating content, they will remember where they got it and that your page, your site was valuable and they'll go back again and again. Memorable stories ask questions. People love to have their say, right? It's one of the reasons social media is so popular these days because everybody wants to tell you what they think. And so if you ask them for that, if you solicit those comments from other people, and then when they comment on you, you respond back and it turns into a dialogue, then again, people get more involved in your business. And that's somewhere that people want to return over and over again because they're feeling engaged. You get them, you understand them, you talk to them. And that makes people feel good. And they'll spread the word about how good they feel about your business. And finally, memorable stories get people talking. We all know when big things happen in the news, uh, like Kim Kardashian's divorce or the royal wedding, right? Everybody's talking about those things. If you can find a way to tie those things to what you actually do for a living, then let them be talking about you at the same time. People are Googling for that information anyway, right? So why not let them find your blog post or your Facebook post or your article about how Kim Kardashian should have maybe used Liz's services before she walked down the aisle, right? There are ways to tie this into your business. So when we talk about storytelling, how are we going to tell those stories, the nuts and bolts? Okay, and the nuts and bolts have to do a lot with how people are consuming our content, right? You know when the most popular times to be on Facebook are? First hour when you get to work and the last hour before you leave work. Why? Because you're avoiding work, right? And so if you think about people consuming your blog or your Facebook page while they're at work, well, they get a little ways down and then the boss walks in and they have to close the laptop or the phone rings and they actually have to do their job. Right? And so there's no guarantee they're going to get all the way through that content. So you need to think about simplicity, clarity, and brevity. Give them something right up front that they can take away, assuming they don't get all the way through what you've written. Lead with what's most important. Write great headlines. You want to catch their attention so they open your post rather than all the other stuff they're bombarded with during the day. And finally, consider your audience. You have to know who you're talking to. That's one of the things that Kelly's so good at helping her clients with, is figuring out who that target audience is 
and how to engage that specific person so that when the leads find your content and come back to you, they're more qualified leads. You're speaking to who you want to pull back. <coughs> and finally, story ideas, right? Write these down. You can all create content later today. Good stories create or uh, contain people. Who are the people in your business? You, coworkers, employees, your customers, strategic partners, right? There are tons of people you come in contact with every day. Tell their story, because their story is really the story of your business as well. Show and tell. Show me how to do something that you do. Demonstrate your expertise for me, because I don't know how to do it. So prove to me how good you are at it. Educate, don't sell, right? How many times do you watch TV and go, oh good, the commercials are on? Never, right? That's when we go to the bathroom. You want to give them value. You don't want to sell people. And finally, create buzz. Because what we're really trying to do is create content that's so interesting that people share it with other people. Because then what happens is you're exposed to their whole sphere of contacts who didn't know you existed, right? And then if they see your content, all they have to do is be curious enough to click on it, and now they're right back on your website, right? Content lead generation. So you know how to build content and what effective content looks like, but how do you know if it's working? There are a number of metrics that you can actually use to target uh, or to understand whether or not there is traffic being driven to your website, whether or not leads are being generated. You can take a look at your Google Analytics, um, page views, time on site, content downloads. And I'll let you take a look at the rest of those while we actually go to a case study where we have some evidence of, um, some, of the some of the results that have been produced. This is one of our clients, it's a realtor, and uh, he has a blog and a website and social media channels. And social media brings in 26 more, 26% 26 more website traffic than search. Traffic from Facebook alone is equal to traffic from the search engines. And you can see there that the Facebook traffic spends more time on their site and looks at more pages. In the first month of blogging twice a week and sharing those posts on Facebook, traffic increased for his website for over 200%. And in the second month, it doubled again. So you can see that this system really does work. It will bring traffic into your website, but what do you do with it once it gets there? So building content using social media to build that content is really the high tech way of touching um, your prospects. Then you wanna think of the next step. How do you actually take them offline to get them to buy? And that's where you build around the rest of the marketing system to go with it. So, so again, social, social media is one aspect of building that marketing system. Then you've got to figure out how do you take them offline to actually get them to buy. And that's a topic for another discussion, our next presentation. You all have um, some documents um, at your seats that give you some information about um, our, di our ideal clients, um, some additional information about how we work, and who, um, what targeted messages to listen for when you're out there. <coughs> Thanks, y'all.